Ah, uh, hello and good morning to you. This is Dr. Bill Bledsoe bringing you another glorious session of your prayers, your heartfelt concerns poured out to God in the privacy of your own home. This is a wonderful method of prayer. I just begin the prayers, but you must finish them with your heartfelt concerns, what's going on in your life, what your walk with God is. It's different for every one of us. So this is one method where you can connect with God without having to worry, you know, think about it, worry about it. You just heal your body while you heal your mind. So we'll begin with my prayer. Beloved God, I thank you for this wonderful, wonderful method of prayer. I thank the generations that have brought this to us from the house of Abraham, the house of David, from Jesus, his mother Mary, father Joseph, and Virginia Ellen, who wrote the book, Sacred Heart Yoga, so anybody could practice this ancient method of prayer anytime they wanted. I thank all the generations, and I thank you, God, for your guidance and love. Amen. Now, if you'll repeat after me, we'll say the Sacred Heart Yoga morning prayer. Beloved God, I devote this practice this day to the evolution of my soul, to the fulfillment of my destiny in service to your love, O oh God. And I allow myself to be purified of fears as I rejoice in your kingdom of heaven and your love, O oh God. And I give thanks for these blessings, these moments that I can share with my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul. In oneness with your love, O oh God. And so it is, amen. Om. Now we're going to just try to clear our minds of fears. Uh, you know, every morning I get up and I start with distractions, fears. Oh, I got to get this done. I got to hurry up. I got to get dressed. Got to get over here. I got to get this finished. All this has to be done before I get to work and got to get to work and got to do these things. So it's just fear, fear, fear. Here in Sacred Heart Yoga, through all these hundreds and hundreds of prayer sessions, I've learned that fear prevents my ability to love. It just blocks it. You can't be terrified at, at somebody pointing a gun at yourself or at your family and yet still love them. It just cannot happen. So fear and love just work opposite of one another. One stops the other. So here we're going to try to clear our minds of fears. It's called clearer energy field. We take our right hand up to the 12 o'clock position. Let it fall over to the 3 o'clock position. Our right knee, left knee, 9 o'clock position back up to the 12 o'clock position. As we do this motion, repeat after me this prayer. Beloved God, I clear my energy field of anyone or anything standing within. I bless them and I send them into your love, your light, O oh God.
Om. Now the rest of the prayers you're going to be able to, I'll give you time that you can add on, finish any way you want, whatever your walk with God is drawing you towards. Do your own heartfelt concerns, your own heartfelt prayers. So um, we're going to ask God, how may we serve you this day? And the answer, and through this hundreds and hundreds of times, I've learned that the answer comes to me in no more than one or two words. Uh, sometimes it's a heartfelt feeling of what I need to do. Uh, sometimes it's, uh, um, well, every now and then it'll be nothing at all. And don't worry about it. Even if it's nothing at all, whatever you get incorporated in the rest of your prayers this morning, and you will find God's answer. God will give you an answer somewhere along the way. I, through the hundreds of times, I've never walked away from morning prayers without knowing what I'm, what my answer is for that day. So here, we take our right hands over our hearts, and from here on out, I'll say our prayers begin with, so when I say that, you repeat after me what I say, but then you must finish it with your own heartfelt concerns. I'll give you time. And, and at the end, we all tone together, om, and that, that allows us to move on to the next position. So here, right hand over our hearts, and our prayers begin with, God, how may I serve you this day? Om. Now, we're going to stand up, and announce out loud what came to us. We do this by standing straight and tall, our arms at our sides, our palms forward, and here our prayers begin with, God, my intention to serve you this day is to Om. Now, in Aramaic, an oath was sealed by saying the word Amen aloud three times. Aramaic is Jesus' tongue. <clears throat> was Jesus's tongue, his, his language. <clears throat> so here, what we're going to do is sing it aloud three times, any tune that feels right to us, any pitch, frequency, whatever feels right in the privacy of our own homes, we'll sing Amen three times. 
Amen. 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 Now we're going to sit back down on the mats and lay down on our backs getting into what's called resting position our <clears throat> lay down on our backs our arms get at our sides and our legs get outstretched this is resting position we'll go back to many times and here we begin by pulling our right knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for... Om. Now we take our right foot in our left hand, pull it over to our left thigh, let our right knee go down to the mat. Our right arm gets extended straight above our heads, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we take our right foot in our right hand, holding it down near our pelvis. Our left arm gets extended straight above our heads this time, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true father, I love you, and I thank you for... Om. Now we point our right foot up towards the heavens, holding it with our right hand, left arm still above our heads down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true father, I love you and I thank you for
Um, now we <clears throat> let our right foot fall out to the right side of our bodies, extending our leg out, opening our pelvis as wide as we can. Our arms fall straight out to the sides from our chest down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true father, I love you and I thank you for, Um, now we turn our heads to the right. <clears throat> Our right leg gets extended up towards the heavens and over, we turn our, and keeping our shoulders flat on the mat, our right leg up towards the heavens over to the left side of our bodies, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we go back to resting position. <clears throat> Here we pull our left knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you. And I thank you for Um, now we hold our left foot in our right hand, pull it over to our right thigh, let our left knee fall down to the mat, our left arm gets extended straight above our head, stretched out down to the mat, and here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for
Aum. Now we take our left foot in our left hand. Our right hand gets extended straight above our heads down to the mat. <clears throat> and here our prayers begin with. God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. <clears throat> now we point our left foot up towards the heavens, holding it there with our left hand, our right arm still above our heads, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you, and I thank you for Um. <clears throat> now we let our left leg fall out to the left side of our bodies, extending our leg, opening our pelvis as wide as we can. Our arms fall straight out to the sides, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with. God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we take and hold our heads, turn them to the left, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat. We take our left foot, point it straight up towards the heavens, and then over to the right side of our bodies, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for
Now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides. And we are going to, for a second time, surrender our fears. Here we're going to surrender our fears into God's love. We're, we're going to try to eliminate our fears, just surrender them into God's love. So we do this by putting our hands under our sit bones, leaning forward on our elbows. Try to touch the tops of our heads back down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with God. Into your love, I surrender my fears of Um. Now we go back to resting position. <clears throat> Legs outstretched, arms at our sides. And we reach for the heavens with our left hand. Let it fall over to the right side of our body, stretching our left shoulder, left back. We take our right hand halfway between our left elbow, left shoulder, stretch it over farther. And here our prayers begin with, God, through your love, I choose to. Oh. Now we take our <clears throat> right hand up towards the heavens and we let it fall over to the left side of our body, stretching our right shoulder right back. We take our left hand halfway between our right shoulder, right elbow. And here our prayers begin with, God, through your love, I can. Oh, <clears throat> now we go back to resting position and we pull both feet up to our pelvis. And we let our knees fall out to the outside, soles of our feet coming together near our pelvis. This forms a triangle below our bodies. We consider in Sacred Heart Yoga, the triangles as, as tabernacles. 
as houses of God. We form a second tabernacle above our hearts. We take our hands in prayer position over our hearts, extend our arms two-thirds of the way up to the heavens, And in this tabernacle of our hearts, we find God's beautiful chalice just bubbling over, brimming over with any gift, anything we could ever desire, want, or need in service to God's love. And that's the key. As long as we use them in service to God's love, we will keep these gifts and they will become bountiful. And, and more powerful if we use them for self-gratification, ego gratification, or for monetary gain, eh, we'll lose them. They'll, they'll just kind of disappear, evaporate in time. So here, our prayers begin with, God, I drink from your chalice, your gifts to me of Um, now we take our hands still in prayer position right at the tops of our heads down to the mat let our elbows fall out to the sides down to the mat and here we form a tabernacle over our entire body so our prayers begin with God, I thank you for healing my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul. Um, <clears throat> now we're going to start <clears throat> what's called the anointing series. It's a series of four prayers. We keep our hands in prayer position at all times during all four of them. And then we repeat the four prayers a second time because they are so awfully, awfully important. Here we take our, the the prayers are about acknowledging that the gifts we're given are from God, thanking God for these gifts, and, and giving an oath that we'll only use the gifts in service to God's love, not for our own self gain. So here, the four prayers begins with, by the first one is our thumbs to our foreheads, hands in prayer position. And our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and here our prayers begin with. God, I bless and I will only use them in service to your love your gifts to me of
Now we take our hands in prayer position down over our hearts and our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for your gifts to me of Um. Now we, the fourth prayer is we do a motion, a movement with our hands. What we do is keep them in prayer position, point our fingers down towards our abdomens, extend them straight out to right above our pelvis, our arms extended straight, like the arms of a clock at the three o'clock position. And then we move our arms counterclockwise up towards the heavens, our hands towards the heavens at the 12 o'clock position, and keep moving them down to the mat at the nine o'clock position above our heads. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts to me of Um, now we start the second in the series of four prayers. Take our thumbs back to our foreheads and our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts to me of Um, now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with, God, I bless and I'll only use them in service to your love, your gifts to me of Um, now we take our hands down over our hearts in prayer position and here our prayers begin with God I truly thank you for your gifts to me of
Om. Now we point our fingers down into our abdomens, extend our hands out to the three o'clock, 12 o'clock, nine o'clock position. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts to me of Um. <clears throat> now we have to go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides. And here we cross our right ankle over our left ankle, our right wrist over our left wrist over our hearts. And our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for always protecting me and keeping me safe. Um. Now we roll over on our sides, pushing ourselves back up in a sitting position, using our arms and our hands. Here we extend our right leg straight out in front of us. Our left foot goes across our right knee. Our right arm holds our left knee. And our left arm goes behind our backs for support. And we twist our heads, our shoulders, and our backs to the left. And here our prayers begin with, Desire I am, desire I am, desire I am. God, through your love, I desire. Um. Now we extend our left foot straight out in front of us. Our right foot goes across our <coughs> left knee. Our, we hold our right knee with our left arm. Our right arm goes behind our backs, twisting for support. And here our prayers begin with Will I am, will I am, 
will I am. God, in your service, I will Om. Now, if we get up on our knees. We put our hands in prayer position over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for Om. Now we form a tabernacle with our hands by putting the tips of our thumbs together, the tips of our first fingers together. And we put it down on the mat in front of us, and we lean over in child's pose, bending over. And we put our foreheads into this tabernacle. And here we just take a moment to feel God's love, God's presence, in the world around us. Um. Now we sit back down on the mats. And we take and extend our right leg straight out, out to the right side of our bodies. Our left foot comes up to the inside of our right thigh. 
And here our prayers begin with God, through your love and in your service, I will become. Now, we take our left leg out to the left side of our bodies. Our right foot comes up to the inside of our left thigh. And here our prayers begin with, God, in your service and through your love, I am Om. Now we get back to sitting position. This time we sit up straight and tall. We put our hands on our knees, our thumbs touching our middle two fingers, and this forms two small tabernacles with our hands. We keep our back straight, bow forward at our pelvis, and here <clears throat> our prayers begin with, I bow to your love, O God, for healing my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul. Om. Now we sit back up straight and tall a second time. With our back straight, we bow forward at our pelvis, and here our prayers begin with, I bow to your love, O God, my true father, my true mother, the one, the oneness. Um. <clears throat> now we sit back straight and tall a third time. This time we feel where we're grounded down to the mat, the left side and right side of our pelvis. On the left side of our pelvis, we feel God's wonderful white light of God's love, God's nurturing, God's healing entering our bodies. 
God's white light fills our legs to the tips of our toes. It comes up, fills our abdomens, every cell and every organ. Comes up and fills our hearts with pure white light of God's love so that our hearts act like beacons to the world. It fills our lungs so that every breath, our lungs can bring in more white light of God's love. And it fills our arms all the way to the tips of our fingers. It fills our throats and our minds, giving our minds the peace that God guarantees we will have through God's love. God's white light then goes out the tops of our heads in this wide, wide expanding beacon of light. And it expands out and wraps in all directions around the whole earth with God's white light of love and God's white light of love rains down upon every living creature there is. Now we feel on the right side of our pelvis God's blue light of truth, of knowing, of discernment. God's blue light fills our legs, every cell, to the tips of our toes with truth. It fills our abdomens, every cell and every organ with God's blue light of truth. Comes up, fills our hearts with God's blue light of truth so that our hearts are certain. Comes up into our lungs, filling our lungs so that with every breath we can inhale God's, breath, God's truth, God's blue light of truth. God's blue light goes down into our arms, all the way to our fingertips, and then comes up through our throats, into our minds, and then it goes out the tops of our heads as a wide beam of blue light, expanding around the whole earth, covering the whole earth, wrapping the whole earth. And God's blue light of truth rains down upon every living creature for them to accept. Now we can step up into the light above our heads, stay as long as we want, ask anything we want. But before leaving, we should always ask, God, what do I need to know this day? <laughs>